Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can perform uh, independent sample t-test in Microsoft Excel. In our previous lecture we have seen that how you can perform a paired t-test and today we are going to see another type of t-test that is independent sample t-test. So basically the t-tests are of different types based on the different situations accordingly and what are the assumptions that you are making in order to apply, in order to apply those test for the inferential statistics. Basically, t-test is a part of inferential statistic in which we make inferences um, uh, about, uh, uh, um, based on certain scenario and we use test to check those inferences and then we decide whether that, infer th that inference can be um, applied to the population based on the sample. So here we have a scenario in which we have to compare the two teaching methods that is method A and method B based on the exam scores. So here the data is basically uh, um, there are five groups here one group uh, the uh, group one uh, in each group there is also there one score belongs to method a score and one uh, and the other belongs to method b score same is for the rest five groups so i am going to use this math, uh, independent sample t test here because this score is independent of this score they are not related to each other as we seen in pair t test that uh, the before and after in both the before and after situation the same student is basically analyzed while here these uh, both all the scores are independent from each other so these are basically in the um, these are basically in the form of groups so this is the basically data that we will use to um, uh, to apply uh, the independent sample t test in microsoft excel so we will apply um, uh, uh, so we will apply a t test in two different ways uh, in excel uh, just like we have discussed in our previous lecture that one is the direct way in which in which we will calculate this p value and the other is the another and the another method is in which we will get the detailed output of the t test including the different uh, values including the uh, the uh, the mean the variances the degree of freedom and p value all these will be the in the form of detailed output so first of all we will see how you can use the built in uh, t test function for finding the independent sample t test so we'll start with equality sign then the function is similar same for all types of t tests just like the paired here uh, it's the independent sample t test but here we are assuming the equal variances so array 1 is this array that the method a score then array 2 is this array that is the method b score then the tails now uh, are you uh, uh, is your situation or is your assumption is based on one tail distribution or two tail distribution it, it is based on your hypothesis as i i am comparing the effectiveness of two different teaching methods and i am not saying that method a is better than method b or method b is better than method a so i am basically not going in one direction but i am going in both directions so that's why i will select two tail direction because i am not saying that one method is better or um, uh, method b is better or method a is better then we have the type as we are considering equal variances then i will select the type 2 i will close it and will press and enter this is the p value that we have got uh, as a result of applying the independent sa sample t test on the given data now before interpreting this value we will move towards here uh, in the on the detailed output of the um, uh, of the uh, of the uh, independent sample t test so before that an important uh, information here is as i am saying uh, that there are equal variances of the given data given two sets of data so equal basically variance is uh, variance represents a spread of data uh, spread of uh, data around the mean so for that I, we have to check whether the both the sc uh, scores method a score and method b score have equal variances or, or you can say we can check the homogeneity of variance here and if we don't know that whether whether the data have equal variance then we will uh, basically assume the unequal variances but we can also check whether the given data have equal variance or not because if we consider the uh, consider it wrongly that uh, that the variances are equal or variances are not equal then it will have impact or it will give you um, the um, uh, the incorrect interpretation regarding the 
results and the, your uh, the validity and reliability of the results will be be affected by that so we have to make it sure that whether the variance whether the variances are equal or not so in excel we have uh, the built in function or the statistical test of f test that we can use um, that is a fisher's test for equal variances so how we can do that Let, let's see i'll go to the data tab then the data analysis tab here we have f test two sample for variances this test can be used to check the uh, that whether the two samples have equal variances or not let's see i'll press okay then i have to select the data so the first range is this is the first range keep this in mind i have not selected this label because this label is not checked here so if it is checked then you need to select the label as well then we will select the the method b score from here onward then alpha value is 0.05 then we want uh, where we want to uh, display our output i want the output to be to be displayed here so i will press ok and here we have the output of f test for two sample of variances now you can see here mean is 77.2 of method a score and then 81 for method b score variances are these 15.7 and 8.5 these are the observations and this is the degree of freedom this is the f value basically f value is um, one variance divided by the other or you can say the higher variance divided by the uh, lower variance then the p value and then the f critical so what is important here is this p value on the basis of this p value we will say whether the two variances are equal or not as this p value is 0 0.28 that is greater than if i highlight it that is greater than 0 0.05 it means that the variances are not different it means that the variances are equal so i can write here that variances are equal so it means that uh, we have clarified it from our side that it is equal so that we can make inferences uh, properly without any doubt that whether the variances are equal or not in the um, in the excel keep this in mind there is also a levin's test for finding the variances the equality of variances that is normally used but in excel there is no built-in function for the levin's test so we'll use f test here now the next thing here is now we can perform the independent sample t test in detail so that we can get the detailed output for that again we have to go to the data tab then data analysis here what we have to select here we have to select t test two sample assuming equal variances if i will press ok then i have to select the data of which i am going to i'm going to compare so i'll select this data then i'll select this data again labels are not checked because i have not selected alpha value 0 0.05 and where i want to display the output i want to display the output here in these cells and then i will press ok so this is the output of independent sample t test assuming equal variances now in order to interpret the p value uh, uh, we must have the detailed uh, output so here we have what we have we have the mean we have the variances we have the observation uh, observation degree of freedom so what is important here is uh, uh, the value uh, the p value that is two tail I will highlight it. I have already told that we will select p value that is two tail because we are not uh, making a one direction a decision or we are not making uh, we are we basically we have no idea whether the method a is better or uh, or, or or whether the method b is better. So that's why we will go in both direction. And we will uh, uh, select two tail distribution. So here the p values you can see both of these p values are same, and from this we can interpret that the p value is greater than the significance level significance what is the significance level that is 0 0.05 that we have selected while performing the t test we fail to reject the null hypothesis null hypothesis means there is no difference between the two methods method a and method b null hypothesis basically shows that the diff that if we that the difference between the two methods is equal to zero that means there is no difference between the two maths uh, that is there is no difference between the two methods so we fail to uh, reject this thing there is a no difference between the two methods it indicates that there is not enough evidence to conclude a significant difference between the 
mean scores of method A and method B. It means that there is no difference in the scores of method A and method B. And we cannot say that method A score is, is better or method B score is, be, is be, better. Or we cannot uh, decide from here that which teaching method is better. So based on this value, we have this uh, interpretation from the p-value. So this is how you can perform an independent sample t-test in Microsoft Excel. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you.